Hey, it's Ryan here, coming at you with uh, tips and tricks, but this is just a, a trick for magicians. And in fact, uh, because it's for magicians, why not make it about magicians? I'm going to read your mind today through the screen, and let me tell you, if this works, you're going to lose your head. It's, it's that good. You, we'll see, we'll see. So we'll bring up one of our favorite topics before you on screen. You will see nine of the greatest magicians of all time. Give me a second to count. Okay, so there's eight that you can pick from. And in a moment, I'm going to have you pick any one of these magicians at random. But we're going to mix up the choice a little bit, so it's not just purely choice, a little bit of chance mixed in there. Uh, and we're going to spell the names as as we go. So, for example, if, if, if I start on Sue, I'll put my finger on Sue. He's got his ten, his ten assistants. Uh, we're going to spell one square for each letter, and we'll move our finger along. So there will be S-O-O, -O, and we'd end up uh, here on Carter. So that's it. Uh, you just move one square with your finger for each letter that you spell. Now, uh, as Dante might say, we're going to sim, we're going to sala, and then we're going to bim. We're going we're gonna to be going back and forth, but just listen to my verbal instructions as we go. So start by picking any of the eight magicians that you like, okay? And for the record, uh, uh, th that's that's Leon Herman, but Herman was challenging to spell because there's two there's two R's or two N's, and easy to get mixed up. So that's that's Leon Herman, just in case you're wondering. But it's Leon for simplicity's sake. <laughs> so you can pick any of the any of the magicians that uh, you would like. Now we are going to spell uh, clockwise around the circle or the square. So we're going to move clockwise one space for each letter in the name that you chose. Okay. So that'll bring you to a second magician that you didn't expect to uh, be pointing at at the moment. We're going to use that second magician. So whatever name that your finger is on now, we're going to spell that name. But we're going to uh, sala. We're going to go backwards. Uh, so we're going to go counterclockwise this time. So the, the new magician you're on, spell their name going, uh, it's hard to do backwards in the camera, <laughs> counterclockwise. <laughs> that brings you to a third magician. Again, hopefully randomizing the, the process as we go. That third magician, we're going to do this one final time, and we're going to switch directions again. So we're back to um, going clockwise around the circle, spelling the final magician's name. And that will bring you to a fourth magician. Maybe I hope they've all been different and random, and we'll see how this all works out. Uh, a fourth magician, and that is where where we will stop today. So we've gone around the uh, the the circle, the circle square, the square circle, as magicians might say, to find a magician that you didn't even know that you'd be thinking of. But I knew the whole time that you'd be thinking of. And I said, you might lose your head when you find out. Well, is that the magician you were thinking of? Huh? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that uh, little tip and trick. This is uh, part of the thing I've been working on the last week, um, creating these little on-screen mysteries. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I, I want to I talk more about it, but not not here in public so <laughs> check my newsletter to get the uh the inside scoop on this stuff and i'll talk to you soon bye, -bye.